Boom, we're back, and the clown of the sport has finally earned his rematch. A few months ago, Josh, a blue belt, challenged me in a jiu-jitsu match, and I completely mopped him. I submitted him whenever I wanted to, I gave him the big brother treatment, and he still kept coming at me. He claims that all he needs to beat me is some leg lock defense, as if this black belt somehow means nothing. I blessed him with his rematch, and let's see how he did today. I mean, last time he was doing all these leg locks and stuff. I took a timeout. I focused on leg lock defense only. I don't know what he's going to do now. He did slap you in the face a couple times with your own fist. That was against the rules. I would have done that to him when I was on top. He's a cheater, bro. He's a scumbag. I'm going to do whatever I want to this man. I think he the time has finally come where I can put Josh in the dirt once and for all. He told me he would be his strongest on Juneteenth in his shows as he blasted through me with a double leg, landing in a guillotine right in full guard. He also forgot to cut his fingernails and was doing some devastating damage to my hands so I had to switch off the guillotine as it wasn't working and I went straight into the omoplata. But this jabroni was already showing some progress as he was continuing to drive forward making it tough for me to hold him down. Then he surprised me again as my right leg finally went over his head but he rolled through on the omoplata and I missed the elbow to try and hit him with an armbar. Now fortunately for me it's just Josh on top so there's not too much to worry about so I started to post on the mat and reaching my arm around the back of his neck. And like clockwork, he grabbed onto my legs and ended up in a guillotine. With enough hip rotation, I was able to use the guillotine to sweep him over and I quickly got an underhook on this fool. I was putting a demonic amount of pressure on Josh, so I knew if I gave him an easy way out, he would take it. I baited him into another guillotine, but this time around, I was going to roll him backwards all the way into mount. With enough leverage and narrowly avoiding his fingernails, I made him tap my ass to get out the choke. Last time Josh treated me dirty by shouldering me in the face, and I treated him like an NPC with balloon sweeps, but his AI has improved because it didn't work this time around. But unfortunately for Josh, this put him right in a leg lock scenario, which he's not exactly a fan of. Oh, quit leg locking, bro. And he claims he's been going hard on leg lock defense, but Never mind, looks like it's the same as before. After seeing how Josh reacted to the ankle lock, hopefully you bot stocking camps as he will be milking the injury till the end of time. But clearly he is fine as I go for another balloon sweep and he keeps it pretty well by first trying to take my back. Then when I block his hip, he even tries to stay on top and goes for his own guillotine. Don't let him know I complimented him, but he did pretty well right here. Then as natural as a blue belt quitting after getting promoted, I throw a guillotine on Josh, putting him into a whole new world of pain. He's doing a pretty good job hand fighting, which comes from his years of running the streets, so I use the guillotine to sweep him over, which then puts him in one of his favorite positions of being on his hands and knees so he can continue to fight the choke, but I instead decide to rotate towards his back. But when he's being stubborn about opening his turtle, I play a dirty technique of constantly snapping him trying to get him to move. And it ended up working, showing why jiu-jitsu people are some of the dirtiest fighters you'll ever meet. I was able to get a far side half Nelson on him like your dad would do to you as a child, and it worked out well for me because it forced him to turn. He was getting a little bit too comfortable being a slug with another man on top of him, so I was happy he turned right into my guillotine strangle. Once everything was locked in, I sat back and there's no Heimlich maneuver here to save him. Now here's something to know about Josh. After getting ratioed in the comments section for the last video, he's now on a villain arc. And one of the dirty moves he's going to try and pull off is the Orlando Sanchez special of trying to snap my arm, but with the same technique level of a pink belt, so I had nothing to worry about. Then after some dancing and yeehawing around, the self-proclaimed Black Khabib shoots a single leg on me but gets nothing accomplished. They know me, I'm Black Khabib, I'm up next bro. So I took advantage of the elementary school version of a single leg to take his back. I contemplated the banana split for a second, then a twister, but in the end I decided to go with a body triangle to completely crush his ribs while doing a rear naked choke. I'll get a rear naked choke bro. This shit fake. Does it work on a real OG like me bro? Right. Now I may have had a few injuries going to this one, and to be fair, Josh didn't know about it. So he was able to weasel his way out of a naked choke, and then like a real gangster, he went for a knee bar on the same knee I just popped. But I think we all know that Josh really doesn't have a leg lock game, so I defended it with ease, and I swapped right into a guillotine pass to get past this lazy half guard. Now it should come to the surprise of nobody that when I go to choke him, he goes to his favorite position of being on his hands and knees. So I decide to style on him by first slipping, then I throw him over my back, which allows me to put him into side control as he tries to scramble out, and then he ends up in 69 guard. The difference between doing this in jiu-jitsu and your personal time is that because I'm on top, I can move my head freely, whereas Josh has to stay stuck between my legs. I have enough time to decide if I want to make him my celly or not, so I transition right into ass mount which creates a smelly opening where I can grab the neck, put my leg over him into mount, and I can finish off another man with my famous mounted guillotine.
When the jiu-jitsu isn't working out, the headbutting will. Catching me completely off guard, I guess we entered the gladiator times and we're headbutting each other to see who dies first. Knowing that Josh has a pretty thick skull, I'm going to take the L on this battle and instead shoot a double leg. Planning my shot, I first pull him away from the other group, then the second I touch his legs, he folds like a cheap lawn chair and he falls down to the ground waiting for me to pass his guard and completely smash him. Now a little bit of background knowledge for the audience here. My rib is in a lot of pain for rolling around with this behemoth. And I don't disclose this to Josh, so fair play to him, but when he straight kicks me in the rib slash stomach area, that sucked. Sensing weakness, Josh shot it in it again, going for a single leg, but he ended up in another guillotine. And normally this works out pretty well on him, but he had a secret defense for me. Are you biting me? Yeah. He bit me. He bit me. I did not bite him. He's capping. So if you're looking for a secret way out of the guillotine until you get put into another one, try biting them. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think he could get any dirtier of a match compared to last time when I wiped my ass with him, but I think biting takes the cake. Now watch Josh embarrass himself again as he goes for his own leg lock. He remembers halfway into the move he's only drilled at once in his life. I fall back into my own leg attack, and he's really showing off that leg lock defense. And uh, Josh also tries one of these. Comment your thoughts below. So there was Josh's secret technique of the Iminari, and here's mine with tickling. Stop! Stop! <laughs> now unfortunately the tickling got me kicked in the ribs once again, so I regret that one, but watch how I use one of my favorite takedowns with the underhook to go to his ribcage and immediately take the back as I throw him by and he falls down into a knee bar, which gets him absolutely nothing accomplished. Since I'm stapling his hip down from his outside Ashi, it's easy enough that I can just walk around his guard and I end up in side control with the round coming to an end. Then I remember Josh's favorite plan is called Uranus, so I show him what it's like on the surface to end the round. You tapped too many times to keep it up. What are you talking about? You know you was in trouble. You know you was in trouble, dog. You know you was in trouble, dog. I heard there were some bite accusations. I just want to clear the air. I did not bite him. You know, he's soft. He's from an ultra soft, like the toilet paper. This dude's a weakling, dude. He's scared of the real heat, bro. I'm up next. They know me, I'm Black Khabib, I'm up next, bro. So it turns out Josh hasn't improved that much to take on me. But what can make you feel like you're not a fraud in jiu-jitsu is if you go to xmartial.com to get one of their splendid bags. It's got enough pockets that you can take some of Josh's excuses and put them in each one. You've got the side for I'm too tired, quit leg locking, bro, and even a pocket on bottom for your excuses that you should never have to say, like quit tickling me. Use promo code TYLER10 to save yourself some money on anything you order from their website.